the video. All right, and now we're going to move on to our final question. So it's x to the fourth power minus 1 is equal to which one of these? Again, this looks like a, it could be a complicated problem. We're not going to make it super complicated. We're just going to take x to the fourth minus 1, and we're just going to go ahead and try to break that down to the best of our ability. So if we want to go ahead and just as a review, if this was a trinomial, there would be a third something in the middle, a third term in the middle. Because there's nothing there, that means it would be equal to zero. Whenever we're trying to factor out a trinomial, we need to find two numbers that when you multiply them together equal negative one. So you multiply two numbers that equal negative one and two numbers that add to get the middle number, which would be zero. So two numbers that multiply to get negative one would be negative one and positive one. So let's check to see if those same numbers, negative one and positive one equal zero. They do, so those must be the numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two binomials. And I know that it's gonna be negative one and positive one. That breaks down these. And then to break down x to the fourth is very simple, x squared times x squared. Okay, I'm going to look back at my options and I'm going to say, oh no, that's not an option. That must mean that I need to break this down even further. So I'm going to look at these to see if I can break them down even further. So again, I'm going to look at this first one, x squared minus 1. If it was written as a trinomial, it would be x squared plus zero minus one. There's nothing here, so it's a zero. So again, I need to find two numbers that when multiply equal negative one. So two numbers that equal negative one and two numbers that when you add them together, they equal zero, that middle number. That's negative one and one and negative one and one again. So to break down the x squared minus one, we put negative one here, positive one there, and then to break down the x squared, it's just x and x. All right, so we were able to break this down. Let's see if we're now able to break this down any further. Okay, so again, if it was written as a trinomial, it would be x squared plus 0 plus 1. We need to find two numbers that multiply to equal 1. Blank times blank equals 1, but they add to the middle number, which is 0. Well, 1 times 1 is equal to 1, but 1 plus 1 is not equal to 0. So that means we're not able to break this down even further. So we're going to just keep it as is, x squared plus 1. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to see, are any of these problems, do any of these look similar to what we had? So it's x plus 1 right here, x squared plus 1 is here, and x minus 1 is here. So the answer would be A.